Okay, reality capture for architecture. This is a demonstration in documenting a building facade using terrestrial photogrammetry. This is a Sutton Hall facade which took 128 images. Camera angles at each step are straightforward, 30 degree angle down, 30 degree angle up. I'm using a third overlap rule. At each image, I'm focused on two thirds image overlap. And as I progress down the facade, I'll end up having enough overlap to capture texture and color. This is the facade side step. Starting off with a straight on, 30 degree angle up, 30 degree angle down. As I progress, I'm hoping to capture the underside of the lip on that cornice up top, the texture and color of the facade, and then the base molding at the bottom. Notice there is no one on campus right now. I'm stepping through. Same thing, my straight on shot, 30 degree angle up, 30 degree angle down. And notice there's good diffuse light today. Overcast, more or less, that provides uh, calm shadows, which is a, a good thing. This is a same example but using a smartphone. Straight on shot, both angles are 30 degrees. Here I'm holding the smartphone uh, horizontally, which probably is not a good idea. I've had a better, uh, better experience with the vertical format. Right here is my full sequence hyperlapsed. This is where you'll want to find as much patience as possible. Uh, just my stride and sidestep is enough to provide that two-thirds overlap. I also have a, a neck strap for my DSLR, which is just about the right um, control from the angles. What I'm doing here is adding detail to my point cloud facade model, where my point of interest is the Sutton Hall set of doors. The doors are fairly ornate with plenty of bolts and ornate uh, handles. It's also uh, steel work in the upper portion of that doorway. I'm using the same rule of thumb where I'm angling from straight on, 30 degrees angle up, 30 degree down. I'm holding about six feet of uh, distance from the door with focus on the handles and the bolts themselves. I should be able to gather some of the detail from the steel up top, but if some of that ornate or metalwork is out of reach, maybe it's a transom feature, it could be a light feature. Once it's far enough away, you'll end up having to use a UAV to gather the rest of the detail. As you can only model what you can see. Okay, now the results of that exercise for the Sutton Hall facade. You'll see my steps down the facade itself. Here's my detailed shot, my process. This is the textured model and rendered in Rhino, and that's the texturing itself. Not bad. Okay, this was a demonstration documenting a building facade using terrestrial photogrammetry.